with the week of round robin coming to an end. The playoffs are starting to take shape. Alberta picked up the deuce, make it nine straight. Another win for Val Sweeting, undefeated so far. Team Alberta guaranteed a spot in the one-two game. Stephanie Lawton has had Mosaic Place cheering for her, and she won as well this afternoon. Her goal to make the podium still within reach. So now she'll take on the top team, Alberta against Saskatchewan. The Scotties from Moose Jaw continue. spring light. I hate to say it. It got up to around minus one today. A little bit of snow and uh, but it's going to turn a lot colder over the next couple of days just when things are really heating up here at Mosaic Place. Straw 15 this afternoon and it was Team Canada Rachel Holman against Val Sweeting and Alberta and Sweeting with her last shot. What a wonderful look at this. Run it back. Spill that Yellowstone enough to score two, one top, one back, as she goes on to win again and remain undefeated. So a big win for Alberta over Team Canada. Ontario stays alive in the playoff picture. It was a win by Manitoba, Jennifer Jones, and Saskatchewan, of course, had everyone cheering here at Mosaic Place. So as we check the standings, this is what we do know. Alberta, Manitoba, they will be in the one-two game. They'll meet tomorrow to determine who gets last draw. Team Canada, Saskatchewan, Northern Ontario, and Ontario. Those four are still alive for the last two playoff spots. Everyone else has been eliminated. As on this uh, Thursday evening, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to our continuing coverage from here in Moose Jaw. Cheryl Russell alongside. Again, happy birthday, sir. Uh, boy, she is terrific. Our gal Val, undefeated, more impressed than ever. I really am. It's not just the shot making either, Vic. It's the resilience they showed in that last game against Team Canada. They looked like they were all over Canada the first five ends. The next thing you know, they're looking at 300 pounds of granite in front of the uh, shot rock. Three good doubles later, they pull off the deuce. They win the game. They're in the one-two. The pressure's off. Not that Valves ever looked nervous, but it's all about rocks and play here. Rocks, rocks, rocks for Alberta. That's the way you take Stephanie Lawton out of her comfort zone. Saskatchewan, six and three. You would think everybody going, hey, this is a great team. They're going to make it up. There's still some doubters. Uh, it's time to prove you're not the fourth place team. Prove it to others and more importantly, prove it to yourselves. Defense and scoreboard management is what is putting the wins on the board for Saskatchewan. They're only giving up 4.2 points per game. That is elite. But this Alberta team is going to push you. They're going to put rocks in place. So stick to your game plan and hold on to that defense. The game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. Saskatchewan against Alberta, Thursday night from Moose Jaw. Val's team, they are a great young team and they certainly have done well very quickly. So it's going to be a tough game. We definitely have to give them one back from last year, so we're going to play a great game against them. We wanted to get back to the Scotties and we're really looking to get back into that final and just stay in the moment and play well. The 2015 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. The 2015 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Tim Hortons, official copy of the Canadian Curling Association. And by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. So as we check the games on the ice, uh, New Brunswick can play real spoiler here if they should hand a Team Canada a fourth loss and our featured game of course is on sheet B. On sheet C, Newfoundland Labrador against Quebec and Nova Scotia. They just couldn't keep it together long enough after that amazing day yesterday when they beat Manitoba and Team Canada. They fell to six losses earlier today and have been eliminated. So it's time to meet the teams. Now it's brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. 
Hi, I'm Val Sweeting, skip of Team Alberta. Our lead is Rochelle Brown. Our second is Dana Ferguson. Our third is Lori Olson Johns, and we play out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lawton, skip of Team Saskatchewan. At lead is Marlise Kasner. Our second is Steph Schmidt. Our third is Sherry Anderson, and we curl out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Saskatoon has won the draw to the button, so they will have the last drop. They have the uh, hammer here in one, playing the Yellowstones, Alberta the Red. Val Sweeting is out, has the brush down for her lead, Rochelle Brown. Okay, would it be wrong to suggest if, in fact, Alberta does uh, come up a little short tonight? Would you be upset if they uh, suffer a little letdown here, Russ? I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. And, and there's some people out there that would say, uh, let's get a loss in there before you get to the sudden death games. Because, you know, you, we all know it's a slippery sport. It's played on ice and uh, you go into the playoffs 11 and 0. But um, I don't think Al's, uh, Val's wired that way. I think they want to keep performing, play to their best, get more used to the Maybe these are the best rocks they play all week. Get used to them for the playoffs. And uh, it worked for Rachel Holman last year, 11 and 0. And maybe this says something right away. The fact that she uh, doesn't throw it in. She just throws up the center guard, there, Cheryl. No, exactly. I think, you know, the bar gets set higher and higher every year. You look at Rachel Holman, to your point, Russ, and so now the bar is, okay, well, we can do better than that. And we can, so it's always somebody pushing you to be better, and that's what I think Val will be looking for tonight. And again, comes back to what we chatted about a little bit this afternoon, is that Alberta, what they have shown is some consistency, and then they made some errors right around the middle of the game. And you pointed out, very rarely did they throw back-to-back -back bad shots, but we saw a little bit about that this afternoon, Cheryl. Yeah, we did, and unusual. Um, what I was really impressed with, though, is that they just bounced back from it. They don't let that kind of thing really affect them. Lori talking to her, she talked about her goals and, and as their team that they wouldn't let missed shots affect them. They know it's going to happen. Just rub it off and continue on. Now, but that, is, uh, that is their skipper to a T, isn't it? That's Val Sweeting. She rarely, for us, shows any emotion. It really is. It's funny when you, I, I've been doing a lot of coaching lately and it's, you know, you're looking for somebody who can play well under pressure as a skip. You're looking for somebody you can get along with. But it, it, Val's demeanor, and, and it has to be infectious to the whole team. It's just she threw a questionable call in the fifth end, didn't make it. To real big turning point. She missed a bad draw in nine. Yeah, but but it's in ten, two pistols, absolute pistols to win that game. And it, 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 you, you get to know that when you play with somebody, don't you? That, you know, if you've got a player that misses a shot, they bounce back and make one. You have so much confidence in that player. And Val actually said that in her fifth end interview. When she missed in five, she said, hey, the girls, we've been good at bouncing back, and we'll we'll do it again. And she did. Okay, okay. Marlies Kasner to the top edge of the 12-foot. Uh, Saskatchewan sitting the one behind cover. They do have last rock here in the first. Not much to pick with yeah. these two teams when you look at the yeah. numbers. 83 for Alberta, 82 for Saskatchewan. But you dig a little deeper, there's a, a bit of a difference when it comes to the plus minus. We see the back end for Alberta doing really well. Uh, plus six for Lori, plus seven for Val. Where Sherry Anderson's at zero two and Stephanie's at two. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Trying to open things up here. And we'll leave the shooter out in front. Spills a uh, Alberta st stone to the top 12. But have to be impressed by the brushing the front ends uh, on many of the top teams now, including Rochelle Brown and Dana Ferguson for Alberta as we say good evening. Kathy, don't you? You know, it's interesting. I talked to Dana before the game, and I think that a lot of people forget that this has been a huge change for her in this year. It was her that was in the house last year because Joanne Courtney was such a brilliant sweeper, is such a brilliant sweeper, that she and Rochelle had that job. Well, now all of a sudden, she is playing that role. Had to really work on her personal fitness, get stronger, and find a new communication network with Rochelle. They're very blunt, very honest with each other, but it is that placement of stones that she's still working on. And, you know, you talked about the plan tonight. Well, for Val, it is all about draws. Did not like some of the shots earlier today. 
doesn't want to blame the Rocks, knows that there'll be lots of draws against Manitoba tomorrow. This is a draw game for Val Sweeting. And the other thing she had to do was accept moving down to second. Because they probably talked last year. I mean, they they they, they lost uh, Joanne Courtney to Team Canada. So now what do we do? Do we go get a second or do we get a third? Well, Andrea Crawford from New Brunswick was the person they brought in. And she, Dana Ferguson, said, you know what? I'll go down to second. I don't mind yeah, that's what makes a great team, that. isn't it, Cheryl? It is. You know, somebody that goes, hey, I, I want to do whatever's better for the team. How do we build? How do we make this team stronger? And, of course, Andrea Crawford doesn't last that long. And uh, she leaves. And uh, they, pick, they pick up Lori olson John. The great advantage they had in choosing Lori was she played with them in their summer league, so they all had a bit of a relationship with her. She was their kind of fifth player in the summer, if you say, when Andrea wasn't there, so already had a relationship built, which is a huge advantage. Just uh, chips it up a little more. Shot Rock belongs to Saskatchewan. Not quite far enough. Trying to get to the inside, it'll probably jam out that red one, but they makes that yellow go away. Saskatchewan okay. a few times this week and their style of play a lot of people you know criticize the more defensive style of play but it's what works for them they're so comfortable with it and I even looked at them as a team coming in and they were only giving up at that point which was great five and a half points a game through the spiel season and now they've moved that down to only 4.2 points per game they just get better and better that's low, isn't it, for this much curl? It was dead straight ice. I could see the old numbers like that. But when it's easy to bury, like in this situation, here's Alberta with two perfect rocks I showed on the screen. They're just going to loop right around it, and they're in the rings. Sherry Anderson as we play third stones. Doesn't quite sink it, but they're sitting two around the edge of the floor. These two reds are a concern for uh, Stephanie. We got that back far enough. It's not a natural double. Sure. What I like to do in these is throw a really soft weight, and then you can you can't hit and roll across the top. If you hit it really thin, you make the double. You hit it thick, you're buried. Yeah, a lot more options with that kind of weight. This is an all or nothing. This, if this sits too thick, it'll go right across the top and out of the rings. Orioles and Johns. One, two, and she'll back it up, and the shooter will spin out. But she gets them both. Nice shot. That was thin. All oh, right, person throwing it. Yes. That's one of the treats with Lori and her release. She throws tons of rotation, similar to Holman, and gets that action. Call. So these two there. center guards I thought we'd get, it would rub off the are just yeah, off like the this. center line. Top edge of the eight, yeah, top 12. Line. Look where the brush is down Same. on the line. edge of the 12. Beautiful oh, ace. Oh. It's just beautiful. Sometimes it, it won't finish you unless you have sweeping way. Here's a good example. It looks like a, I don't think it's going to dead bury. Not bad. They're, they're, they're a stone and a half width. They didn't even come close no. to those guards, did they? Well, you could have put that in a button if you had to. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So it slides to the back eight. Four. Yeah. The curlers love this kind of oh, ice. Yeah. So like and because it, they're blue hone inserts, when you throw a heavy oh, one like Lori did, you, clip that with back line, you take the guesswork right out of the ice. Just, it just like goes down it. their poker straight almost. 
Well, and, and you know, on swinging ice like this, that's where we've talked about the where the management of releases comes into play, where you need to know how to, to get around. Sometimes you're going to have to throw it a little straight or more rotation. Got, yeah. that, that tends to be something you learn on this ice, and you have to practice over and over again. And at night, even when they come out here, I'm sure they're practicing different release forms to get different things out of the shots. Tough little finesse yeah. shot. Depends on how many rocks have been thrown here in practice. This could really curl. Boy, this is going to flirt with those guards now. If he even has a chance. No, they're going to pay the double raise and they'll punch it to the back edge of the button. Oh, sets up well for Saskatch when it kind of mm -hmm. came out the other side. A little too far. Good. I think just that inside path is just fresh. Yeah. Uh, the curl. So. Yeah. So like, um, path. Fresh yeah. meaning pe pebble. Fresh pebble and it would still be sharp. So the rock died and curled. They were actually trying to come around and tap that yellow. That really overcurled. Yeah, Long let's enough go. guard here. I think Stephanie can get to the inside and sit two underneath oh, cover. You know, with that kind of curl. And she rolls under and it this way. Yeah. Sure. A little yeah, fresh. And it's nice here too. Like, I don't have to worry about it being sticky or anything here. It's pretty nice. Should be good. Here. Yeah. We had two rocks down to be 14 yeah. Stephanie Lawton and her first Saskatchewan with the it. last rock. So brushes down. We did have one pick earlier today, but not many this week. Now, can they get just across the nose and flick underneath? No, right to the beat. Shoot. Sorry. Oh, okay. I thought I heard just half. Probably just firm. Okay. Quiet, but it was nice. They're going to go this way because I think you might be able to see enough to either roll underneath into this area or you might actually be able to make the double. But this is also lined up, but Val just made it. So you could try that, but probably can't throw enough weight to get the yellow one out, and then you're in trouble if you. If you tick that shot rock roll open somewhere, you could give up three. So. And I think they have the option of the double here. I think that's actually what they're looking at playing. Double first and uh, try to get to the inside second. Final stone, Val Sweeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Nine straight into the one two game. Ben, no. No. This on, is really. just yeah, hanging yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Now, late movement. Oh, she stuffed it. And that will open the door. Saskatchewan to draw for two. I was just thinking that as you went away, I should have said something because, like, even her, they took this much ice and she threw like like ten and a half, right? And it didn't do. So just overthrew it, Russ. Yeah, they thought it would curl there. They, I think the first one fooled Val. It was on the other side of the sheet, but it hit some pebble. And I heard Val say there's probably it's probably fresh on this side also, but I don't think it is. It's a little straighter here. Well, the crowd here at Mosaic Place on this Thursday night will get their first chance to let it out. Ferguson and Brown. <laughs> It's good, guys. How good is it? That good. Saskatchewan takes advantage of a last rock mistake. Scores two. 44 curlers started the week with a chance to drive away in an all-new 2015 Ford F-150 in the annual Ford Hot Shots competition. That number, though, trimmed down to just two. And in the final, 
Ontario's Stacy Smith against Heather Strong. And a skip from Newfoundland and Labrador came up big when she had to. Trailing by one, heading into the final round, Strong scored four, enough to win for the second year in a row. Only the second curler to ever do so. Heather Strong wins the Ford Hot Shots and a two-year lease on Canada's best-selling pickup, the Ford F-150. Thursday night, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and Mosaic Place. And Saskatchewan against Alberta is our feature. And the Saskatchewan champions of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon score two. And so here in the second, Alberta coming in undefeated with nine straight wins. We'll have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stone. Really just one Check blemish that end. Uh, Val didn't guess right where there was a bit of pebble wrecked all over the guard. And, uh, two just that quickly. And on the guard is Rochelle Brown. A little down. Yeah. Well, Sherry oh, Singler at the twisted ankle. This way. There she is. Sorry, this way. Happy birthday to uh, Sherry as well, who usually throws the uh, second stones for this Stephanie Lawton team. But after the provincials got caught on some ice in her driveway, twisted her ankle. And uh, so it forced the Saskatchewan team to make some last minute changes with Stephanie Schmidt coming in to throw the second stones. And then Lana Vey is now on the bench as the fifth. And uh, after a little bit of a Difficult start for Stephanie. Just that first day, first okay. couple of draws, she's performed okay, very yeah. well. All right. Is she ever, Vic? Uh, she's up to uh, second in the rankings for seconds, and that what an unbelievable replacement. Hey, Dana. A little over curl there, and maybe more importantly, long. So I'm sure you can get around to the nose and maybe inside. And there's three guards on the right hand half of the sheet. You can put very behind hey. any one of them. Just clean. Already at nose. 10-4. Okay. Nice Dana Ferguson right to the nose. Yeah, a little heavy there. That was you, you just really when you're like two yeah. down, you want to just get buried no matter how you can do it. Now it gives the other team the chance. Not that hard to roll. Look at all those guards. So much to roll behind. But the difficulty is Cheryl just finding that fine line in terms of weight to be able to get across the nose, right? Exactly, and, and they're being a little careful. I can see why the overthrow, because they did rack on the guard, and so just being, they don't want to overcurl and roll out. Still lots to play with, but again, right to the nose. Second opportunity, and for the same player throwing, so that's an advantage. Even if you just have this behind the T-line, it's a rock you can freeze to later. And it's like obviously, you don't want to be light. But that last one of uh, Team Saskatchewan was at least boards. So you just got to crawl that weight down a little bit. No, no. 10-9. Can we roll it a bit? No, it's nosing. Okay. Just a little wide. On yeah, now we're moved up the hole. I don't mind the nose. Maybe just a hair yeah, of a flop. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with the up? roll now because it's so high yeah, and with the swing, the then the Alberta yeah. uses it as a, it, as sure. a guard. It sure. really is, isn't it? So just nose is perfect here. Uh, roll has teased them now for a, a few stones. Sherry Anderson. We've all done this. It's amazing how many times in the bonds field you see that. And both teams are trying really hard to roll. But what happens is you're starting to wear that pebble off. Remember Val missed one in the first end way narrow because it was a fresh spot, fresh pebble. Well, these, the last four have done the exact same thing. So you're really into the fifth end here in that, in that one spot. I think mine will be fine. I 
think everyone else has been out. <laughs> Team Canada, Rachel Holman, Sylvie Robichaud, New Brunswick, Mike the first. 11! Oh! Quebec gets one, yeah. Lauren Mann Five. against Heather Strong in the first. No, no, no! Oh. Nova Scotia, oh. BC, blank. I'm just trying, I don't first. know. 10-9, it's good. Good face call. Oh, they got a little movement. Boy, yeah, you no. have to really you pull the string, it seems to me, on this to, yeah. to get this to move. Yeah, it's all weight. I'm confused. She just thought it was Sorry. It's okay. If you try too hard, you get into a new path right from the get go, and it's all over the center guard. Yeah, and you do see that often mm. when somebody really tight. They bring the weight down and yeah. tighten the ice. Can you still get the roll here and grab some of the 12 foot? I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, it's basically edge on edge. I think they'd like just to nose, though. Okay. Gotta come a bit for that. Roll it in? I don't no. think it's gonna stick We're rolling out. Stay with it. Oh, it might. No, oh, there. Okay, Rolls the other way. Hand, the other way. And stays. Oh, did it? Good throws. So now okay. forget about the hit and roll. We'll just draw there. So <laughs> most of this area is quick so because sweaty. everything's been down this side. So the teams have to remember, the brushers especially, don't jump this thing. Top eight's where they want it. Line's okay. A little bit of room. Six, five. Five. Room. Lots of room. Eight. Lots of room. Let five. it work a bit. Okay. It's fresh here. Six. Single. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not moving. Six. Five. Not moving. Six. Five. At the end. Yeah, you can go now. Line's great. Just bite for it most. Whoa, Dana. Boy, look at that sink. Wow. Beauty. Nice to the place. top edge of the four. Now they did go out a little bit wider, Cheryl. Well, they do, and sometimes you get more curl the wider you go. I think what Lori had was perfect yeah. weight on that. It allowed the sweepers to come into it. My concern was what it when it got to the new pass, so basically center would it come down really hard because that would be fresh pebble there, but the sweepers were on it and stayed close. It's great weight. Yeah. So try to wrap back. around everything then, Russ? Yeah, you can freeze to it. That's the other option, yeah, but you'd be top okay. eight. Sounds good. And then so uh, in theory, Val had yeah. can draw closer than that for the two. So because there's so much finish here, they're going to actually use that as a guard. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Okay. It'll get a sideways swoop here, too. So okay. you ready. That could be Let's the only it. way, though. You know, Alberta can then freeze down to. The other thing is you could corner freeze to that top red one. It's, right. it's a tough draw with all the curl for Alberta. Well, somebody said, get ready because it's going to swoop. Stay close. Terry Anderson Red. cupping her ear now. looking Red, as the cowbells were ringing. Red. Now, Red. this is a big carry. Kazner, Schmidt. This is all about getting it by the one top edge. Little bit more, little more. Oh, goodness, drag it to the lid. Perfect. That is perfect. Wow. Dangerous shot if it ever ticks and rolls open. Well, Kathy, let's start our updates with Team Canada in New Brunswick. And uh, New Brunswick with Last Rock, they blanked the first. Team Canada trying to shake off that earlier loss today. Well, and they weren't super sharp, I'm not going to lie, in the beginning of this game. But the last couple stones, they've been throwing them a little bit better, nosing. And so this is the force. And there it is. One for New Brunswick. Yep. It looks pretty good. But if you're throwing weights. Team Canada losing yeah. to Alberta. You know, Kathy talked about the uh, brushing of uh, Dana Ferguson, Rochelle Brown here, Schmidt and Kasner. They make this shot, Russ. Oh, no question. I heard the front end yell top four, and then they turned it into a button. More importantly, got it by. This is a really tough shot. Look at that. Val could soften her weight here and actually wreck on the buried red one. It'll curl that much. It's all speed here. Just back line, try and move it. Okay. Speed should be okay in this spot. Yeah, it's pretty similar to what you threw. Need some uh, great communication here with the front end and Lori. Backline, yes, yeah, line. Or a little up 
weight. Didn't take long. Did you see Rochelle Brown raise the brush? They knew this was up weight. And it's starting to break. It is starting to bend. Here comes that guard. Get it by that one first. They did. One more time. Get it by their own. Yeah, no. By that much. Just bites that center line once it's there. Yeah. You have no hope of holding it with sweep. Zen turned around in a hurry. But it was really nice sweeping weight. Sounds good. Put it right on top, guys. Okay. That's sure. Top four, top button. We talk all the time about this being a defensive team. That's kind of their style. and. They're so good at hitting, but uh, at the Provincials and here, Stephanie Lott's made a ton of these draws. Right on top was the call. Let it work. More. Let him more. Stay close. Sherry Anderson thinks it's a little hotter, so nothing Whoa, yet from Schmidt or Kasner. It's coming down. It's got a bend, though. It's coming. Waiting for this break. Waiting for the break. Right on top now. Late licks, late licks, get it there. Yes. <laughs> to sit two. Oh, you have to be so patient. I think, you know, <laughs> Stephanie's always had that ability mm -hmm. to draw. I just think sometimes when you play a defensive style game, you don't get as many opportunities, yep. and sometimes it's a guess. But not That's this week. Way. She's made no. everything we've seen. Did you see Sherry Anderson just whistling a little bit and just <laughs> give her the eye? Like, wow. <laughs> you just made That's two tough. beauties. I don't know that you are my skip. Although the jaws were out there, so it should be pretty good. You could actually score two. Who knows where to put the broom? And that's an awfully like that. long raise. Same but... thing for a steal. Same it's thing, e give up one. It's either that or throw that same shot and give up a single. Yeah, I think you'd hate to give up two. two. I agree. Especially to Lawton with their defense ability. Final stone. Sure. Just catch the corner and Good move nice one. Nice yes, shot. and it'll be a steal oh, of no. one for Saskatchewan here in the second. Oh. Oh. Well, Saskatchewan ends up with a steal of one, and really it was the two shots by Skip Stephanie Lawton. This was her first, Cheryl. Yeah, this was amazing. She made a great draw here. Puts it on the lid. Great sweeping to get it by this top four foot stone. She doesn't want to rub off. And buries it. And now number two, Russ. Yeah, I'll give him that chance. And you give a great player like Stephanie Lawton the same shot twice, especially when you made it perfect the first time. No mistake, wonderful judgment from the front end. And all, the X. and all that was left for Val Sweeting was to try and get rid of one. She did. Steal of one. The key shots are brought to you by Cashmere Bathrooms Issue. Nothing feels like Cashmere. So it's 3 nothing Saskatchewan. Who come in with a record of 6-3 and three against the so far undefeated Alberta with nine straight wins. Once again here in the third, it will be Alberta that does have the last rock. They have the hammer. Playing the Redstone. All uphill for Alberta so now. We talked about the hitting ability of this uh, Saskatchewan team. Yep. Pick away, lots yep. of time left, get that okay. two. Oh, 
Well, and you always, you know, when you're playing the hometown team, you, you sometimes want to try to keep the crowd out of it, but the crowd, you know, of course, behind Lawton, it's huge. They cheer every shot. That can be tough to play out there with that. Okay, yeah, get it out of the way for the double. Back Quick, in. come down. No, we're T for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah we just got to be out of this way. Good. Okay. Might be. Should we do some sound? You might see the Sweden team uh, go around that uh, staggered situation there at some point. Oh, your first rock? No. I, I thought it's tight. earlier. No, I've okay. had. <clears throat> Good honest answer from the skip. Ah! Yellow, yellow, still uh, lined up in that red, Vic. That well, could be a concern. Yeah, but 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 they are staggered. Can't you, if you're Alberta, use them and try and duck behind? Yeah. yeah, you can. You definitely can. I guess the question is, when do you go? Yes. And I think if you go now, uh, Cheryl, and you, you, to get buried, you're probably back far enough. You might leave a red double. All right, I think try and waste some Saskatchewan rocks yeah. over here. Line's okay. Go later in the end. Mine's good. You're holding really straight. Three. Mine's close. Halfway. Three. Little finish. Yep. Yep. We're tight. Hard line. Yep. 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 Good. Good speed. Good job. Nice one. I always like to guard the inside piece of the okay. back rock. Because if you leave a little showing on that. whatever you say is the right hand side, the other team ever ticks the guard coming That's in, it comes sure in the ring. Stephanie trying to call this thin to see if she can unlock those rocks uh, that are staggered. No, let's go. No, it's close. Really Sorry, close to get me. That's okay. Share what you roll. It's going. It's going. Ooh. Thought she might okay. play harder for that. Yeah. Try and unlock the Move stagger. Around. Would have been a great call. Just want to let you know that uh, Heather Strong from the Valley Haley St. John scored one in the second to tie Quebec. And after a blank in one, Nova Scotia with a steal of two. Marianne Arsenault, Mayflower, Halifax, on Patty Knesevic out of Prince George. If you can, seven, yep, eight, yep, nine, and let. Woo! Well, wait, 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 There you go. And around they go to the back edge. Hang it on the back edge of the forefoot. Nice one. Good touch. What happens if I just freeze to it? Okay. If you happen to rob that, that's not that bad. Well, let's not do it. Right? I mean, free. if I'm frozen and yeah. she makes a double, then we yeah. can hit some. It's been real nice for you, Cher. So 14, 7, maybe? 15, 15 almost? 7, the yellow yeah. double might hit that red one, too, on the side. And unlock everything. Yeah. Give you a couple options to run back. Sherry Anderson will try Wait, to go right together. around.
guys like? I kind of like Do you guys like that? I, I feel like we're boxing ourselves in a little bit. But. Well, we could run this in is what she said, but it yeah. might jam, right? Okay. I, what do you like? We can play this and spare this one. I don't know. Like, what are you thinking? Um, we will jam this and probably roll over here. So either the double or the draw. Let's do the draw. You can just take that top rock oh. off and then hopefully you hang around with soft weight. My, my gut says double, but they like draw. <laughs> but then that doubles there where you can actually kick so across your own and get it out of there. Okay, I don't mind. At, at the very least, we open it up. Yeah. Okay. I think that one we got a score. Play, so. Just for... Okay. If you come this way, it might come off a bit. Okay. You can start to make it really tough for yourself to even score yeah. if you play yeah. into oh. that back four foot. The only stone. problem with this one is I think it's jamming on that red. I thought the uh, the truest thing said was Laurie Olson Johns. We got to score. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Whatever we do, we've got to give ourselves a chance to score. They're down three yep. nothing as we play here in the third. Well, roll shooter. And now we'll see. There is that jam, okay. but okay. they'll okay. spill out the back. <laughs> Does unlock the. Uh, Front of the ring. Good one. If you can get that. If you can get the double, that's great. Main thing here. One, okay. two for sure. Maybe a little I outside fighter. Yeah. Three facing Team Canada. The last Rachel Holman. Well, Rachel tried to play a hit and roll under one of those stones on her first, but it stuck right there. And then Sylvie not only removed the stone, but picked out the other Holman stone at the back of the house. So forced to hit. Oh boy. Yeah, and you said that they weren't very sharp in that second end either. They were not. This is a steal. One. Measure for that one. And they're yeah. going to put the stick around the to see if, in fact, it is in. So steal of one for sure. I need a minute. That was fucking terrible. Okay, sure. That's good. Right out or what? Yeah. Well, Val's playing even though they jammed it one of their own. If they live to play another end now <laughs> keep it open here she can see the hearts every time I come out need a towel or something. okay we'll tell Lana it's always good now and then from the front end you start the end knowing that you want to make sure you score but you kind of get lulled into playing those come rounds and it's good to always have somebody reminding you hey that's what we'll we said we're doing. Every eight. Eight. Line only. gotta go eight. gotta go guys Stay on the nose if they can here. Stay on, this. Stay on this side. Yep. Hard. Go, 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 go. Good sweet, Ross. Good nice shot. Oh, nice shot. Is it going for like a tap, tap, tap? Sorry, I just need a little more to release it. Yeah. Wow. I, can can I get just control control or control or a bomb? Oh, I see. Oh, sit, I see. sit right on top of the six. Yeah. Right? Okay, I move this one off here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, control. I think. Hey, you like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. There. Um, it's not uh, a whole no, bunch I use your hack one here. Well, that's kind of what I want to play. I think I have to probably play control to get rid of red. I think hey? I think control okay. right there, Steph. That's good. Let's go, Steph. Okay, let's go. Control here. Okay, try to just move them and stick right on the nose there. Sounds sure. Good. Nose hit. Well, wait, control? Control. Okay. Yeah. Should get rid of one red with this. Yeah, right, I think. Even if you don't stay really close to nose, let's say you roll a foot one way or the other, the valve has to deal with it. Might set up a double with uh, Stephanie's last one. down! One. Whoa! Let's control! Whoa! Whoa! We're not down! Whoa! Whoa! Skip stones. Good. Stephanie Lawton, her first. Clean, clean. And they will get rid of one and Beauty. sit there for shot rock. Oh, beauty okay. shot. Oh, really nice. Yes. So after the measure, it was indeed so two. Out, so that was a, just a little outside biter. And now 3 nothing, New Brunswick leading Rachel Holman, Team Canada. And everyone has come over to talk with uh, Coach Richard Hart. Team Canada losing earlier today. Same idea, just tap it. 
Little on Dana's side. Okay. okay. Release that one. They lost to Alberta to drop to three losses. That was a tough <laughs> loss too, Vic. You wonder if they're still smarting from that a little bit. The uh, they had about five rocks and good spots that end and somehow gave up a deuce. And you got to get back on track. Save the back one. Yes, right up, right up, right up, girls. Right up, right up, hard, 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 hard. Oh. Hard, Lori, go, go, go. Very nice. Nice show. Good one. Good sweep. Good. Nice, nice shot. Good sweep. A drag. Will well, it this drag? Can I get a drag? Looks like it goes through there. But if you understand the drag for Stephanie to hit it this way is where she has to hit it anyways. I think that I think yellow one's going to come more angle. this way okay. and get a piece of that. It's got to. Just try it. It's got to. I, I think, think so, so too. Yeah. Okay. In your other thing, you can go there, but you I just know. leave her. No, I like this. You okay. like it? Yeah, I like it. They're you pretty know. close. I think it yeah, does the drag effect. Yeah, no. it, it has yeah. To. yeah, I agree. You know, apply. Sherry's right. And, and Besides, I don't think that's the wrong call to just to try it anyways, because this the is the only way you can remove the top red one. Get rid of the top and one. Yeah. what will happen is the top red one will have an outturn on it, and it'll drag yeah, yeah. that yellow rock a little bit. Because the striking bands are rough, so they act as like a gear effect. I would be really surprised if this uh, yellow one misses the back red, even though it looks like it should. If Stephanie crosses it, it's a different story. Peel weight high side. Her yes! final stone. Yes! Yes! You're in three. Whoa! Whoa! Trying yes! to hold this yes! line for her. And there you go. Just like you said. And it really drags. You hit it nice and thin, and it dragged right over enough to hang around. Beautiful shot. That moved a good foot, and we call drag. It changes that angle. I mean, oh, yeah. No, sorry, Russ. Those are shots you should practice yes. in your club and in different arenas just to try. Even when you come out here for your practice, pregame practices, try to set them up. It's wider than I just Well, I've heard. I mean, I think it would be used earlier, people though. at the elite level will close. actually go in and put the rocks together. It's you don't have to throw them from one end to another. Right. Just I, throw them I, from I the top so, 12 yeah. just yeah. to that, just to get that sense of yep. it, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. I think you know if you don't know. Facing two of their last. <laughs> just not sure, because this is a little heavier what it'll be there. So okay. let's nose. Okay. 10-5. Okay, I like it, Belle. No need to guess. Okay. Good feedback from the sweepers because mm -hmm. Val went down and they don't seem as sure sweeping it, mm -hmm. right? So that gives, and, and I don't know if Val's a certain withdrawal weight after the last game. She struggled yes. a little bit with it. They've come out very sharp. Saskatchewan, Stephanie Lott, Sherry Anderson, final stone. This is facing yes, two. She made the change. She didn't want to guess. She knew this nice shot. shot. Good throw. She knew it very well. For a single here in three to get on the board. Saskatchewan leading. Val Sweeting has been all smiles here in Moose Jaw, and why not? But when the season began, things were not all that fun. First, Joanne Courtney left and joined Rachel Holman. And then Andrea Crawford came and went. All of a sudden, her world-class curling team was a trio. And with the season in full swing, where could she find a capable fourth? Val Sweeting admits that emotionally, she had hit rock bottom. 
But that all changed with one simple message, a text to a former rival. Lori Olson Johns was perhaps her best call of the curling season. Can you help us out was that message. And we've seen so far since then, her new third has made this team from Alberta better than ever. You know, it's been said that sometimes good things fall apart so that better things can fall together. So far here in Moose Jaw, things have worked out perfectly. We first saw her, of course, uh, five years ago. She was just uh, 22 years of age, and boy, has uh, her game grown with her. And on the um, World Curling Tour this year, nearly $70,000 in uh, monies won, and of course, that Canada Cup win. Last year's runner-up to Rachel Holman in Montreal, Alberta's Val Sweeting. Welcome back, everybody, on this Thursday night. Our continuing coverage of the Scotties from Moose Jaw. And here in the fourth, Saskatchewan leading 3-1. And they once again will have the hammer. They'll have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. I think this Val Sweeting team is one of those teams that will learn far more from their losses than a lot of teams. I think they really sit back and take a look at what happened and what they need to do to get better and, and improve on everything. Ten down! Eight. Dana block. Ferguson. Yes. Okay. Do you have a mitt? Saskatchewan or sitting something? the uh, shots don't yeah, at the moment. My, hand is getting, my hand's really bad. Dana? This is where Stephanie Lott more consistently than any team I've ever watched is uh, just, if we want to call it bail, but they make the right move early, and especially with the score the way it is. They just pull us off, drag the plane to the rings, and just start hitting. A couple doubles, one double maybe, and they'll be out of the mess. You can get dragged so in, but the free guards on the first rock was up. You loop around, you loop around, you loop around, and then if you're in trouble, you still think and draw because that's what you've been watching. Whereas reality, that Stephanie does that a lot. No, she's really good at not letting the other team kind of lull her into that, especially mm -hmm. a team like Alberta that loves all the rocks in play, and that's their style. Thank you. And easily I'm fall high. for it. A little hot. Don't need to. Sliding really nice. Yeah. Maybe it's three. Two Somebody said hot. Two and a half. It'll stop outside. Okay. Come out oh, really. What's that? Can we do this forever or what? It's a while. Stephanie Schmidt. Clean. Just clean. Easy. It's interesting that these two, uh, that these two teams have had the kind of dramatic seasons. I mean, we just showed you the kind of start of the season it was for for Val Sweeting having to make the roster changes. But here, there is a Saskatchewan similar situation within the last week. Okay, let's do it. They've had to deal with the injury. Sherry Singler. Call goes out, yeah, in comes spot, uh, sure. Stephanie longer. Schmidt, albeit that she played with this team when Stephanie Lawton was on maternity leave. But you've got to make that adjustment. You've got to find a fifth player. My goodness, Val Sweeting, or uh, pardon me, uh, Lana Bay is down there as the fifth player. They haven't even been able, there was no time to get her own jacket. She's sitting there wearing a, a Sherry Singler jacket. So it's all happened very quickly for this team too, and they've had to deal with it and deal with it very well. Hard for line. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just leave a guard. Hard line, yeah, get it in there. Did you find one? Can we nose it? Sheffield almost knows those. Can't she like here? Well, she's just hitting outside one. Can you nose it? I don't like that because they get it behind. Okay. What's going on here? This is not like Team Canada, is it? It is not. And, you know, Rachel is not getting a lot of help. Uh, Joanne Courtney really struggling. They've had opportunities to draw in the house. Can't find paint. 
Rachel did make a great shot on her first one. She buried around a New Brunswick stone, but Sylvie Robichaud made a great so shot. Nice she ran it back. Take a look. And so it is the same draw that she played on her first one. Draw against four and needs full eight foot. Now remember this afternoon that uh, Lisa Weagle joined Courtney started off very slowly against Alberta and they turned it around mid game and then it came down to last shot. So maybe same thing will happen here but uh, certainly not the kind of performance you would expect from Team Canada. Although they're on the board now trailing 3-1. On the nose. Yeah. Well, it's always so tough those to losses and, and then you have to go but right away and play on the, you know the next draw so you don't have a lot of time to recover and yeah, but this is what makes the champions Cheryl you does. know that yeah. you've been there I mean my goodness you have to shake it off park it as the psychologists always say but you wonder in the case of Joanne she just lost to the team she left you wonder if that's uh, not the first time true not the first time Canada Cup final yep and uh, that she was by your own admission, she was more uh, nervous then. It takes time. It really does. We've all done that where you've changed whoa, teams, and it's, it's, it's awkward. It's weird. It's different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two reds should go here if uh, Sherry can get enough of that top one. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I guess so. Good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, sure, that's good. Unlocks everything. Remember now, Saskatchewan does have the last rock here in the fourth playing Yellowstone. Nope. In roll. Okay. I think this will move. will look for a steal opportunity here, but not at the risk of giving up a bunch of points. Hard! Hard for the double! Yep! Hard! Hard! Okay. Angles it back, gets rid of the Saskatchewan stone okay, and one of their own. Moving everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. So fair. Just control, guys. Always Sounds goes. Around there somewhere. Yeah. To draw right now. <laughs> yeah, early soups like, on that side. Yeah. Yep. They're saying they're getting more curl than ever, so it's what he's, she's saying is tough to draw, not meaning the speed, but Hard. they can't seem to take Hard. enough Hard. ice. Hard. 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 Okay. 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 And right on the Hard. nose, sitting there, center line, top edge shot, sure. of the 12. Good. Shot Good. stone Good. at Good. Piers. Good. I'd like to roll in here. This could be the point in the week, though, with the curl that they may have, you know, uh, enhanced the rocks a little bit. They do that. They want to keep the curl. So halfway yeah. through the week, the, the, the surface of the rocks is worn down. It's got a lot smoother. They don't want to lose mm -hmm. that curl. So it's a constant battle to keep it, that swing. So. And consistent. A little more clipping. Okay. Okay, uh, really yep. hard. Really hard. Hard. Grab something, watch this pass. Yeah. Back by the half, probably. Marley, That's her rock nice. grabbed something, she said. Pardon? Her rock control. grabbed something by the half. Okay. okay. I don't have ice for that. Newfoundland, Labrador, and Quebec. And final stone to be played by Heather Strong out of the Valley Haley Country Club in uh, St. John's. Well, she's playing the draw, needs piece of the four. I think you got to go, guys. It's been a season of change for Heather as well. Her sister Laura no longer with her after so many years, now living in Regina. So Stephanie Korab at third, Jessica Cunningham at second, and managing the house, and then Catherine Cooper leading third stones. Got off to a good start this week, really did carry the team, won the hot shots for a second straight year, but then uh, just a too much for her. Didn't get quite the support she needed.
for the Calfberry. And after a blank in three, British Columbia has come back with two. So they're tied with Nova Scotia playing five. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they got 10 days over Carolina. So I, I was I thought even if we roll over here and back eight foot, it's better yeah. than. I like that she didn't roll dead behind because mm. then it gives the nose nose and it's buried. Rolling a little bit out. Stephanie's making a ton of shots. <laughs> She's on fire. Final stone, Val Sweeting trying to run this back. Run it back, catch shot, rock, no, she'll drive it by, and so, ho, 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 ho. this crowd knows exactly what's ahead now, an open draw for two. Everything. Tight all the time with Val's, everything's been the same way. I'll take the one last game over that. I was scared to be positive there because I thought it would run, but yeah, I don't know if we've ever seen anything go straight though on this sheet tonight. Well, that path yeah. ran really straight in the first end for all those hits and rolls. That's how tricky it is. I mean, the valve's got a good point. It did run straight, but not quite there. It was about 10, 12 inches outside center line. That was only a couple inches outside center line. Makes all the difference. Final stone anywhere fine, in the paint. The team, guys. Team. Great. And the crowd starts to come alive in the paint for a pair. And Sherry Singlet from up there with her crutches. Says, Way to go, team. Oh, well, you can get lots of food. Here's some great music. The Heart Stop is where it all happens here at the Scotties. And the Oscars, hosted by Neil Patrick Harris. And live coverage of Oscar Sunday starts at 6.30 Eastern, 3 Pacific on CTV. So Saskatchewan opened with Last Rock, scored two, stole one. Alberta managed to get a single back, but now a two for Saskatchewan. After the failed run back by Alberta, has them in front 5-1. We go to five, and it is Alberta. It does have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the redstone. My bad. Timed a little less, but more light. More light. Let it work. Coming more in. Line. Are we to it? Are we to it. Okay. You might need a rub off here. Or do you gotta go. go to it. Gotta go to be two. Yep. 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 Okay. okay. Michelle Brown. This a hair more. We don't leave like underneath, underneath that one. Okay. Go on, We're up the second corner here. The scoreboard's dictating that. Over to your broom. Nope, we're not. <laughs> Holy crap. You're going to play this way or not? Hard. Yep, yeah, hard. You know, sometimes, Russ, we see corners being put up. We, we mentioned earlier today, because of the swing, the corners, putting them up is, a, is more of a chore. Uh, sometimes when the ice isn't curling particularly well, you think, okay, you got to be covering the middle of the eight or the edge of the eight. A corner here, because the way the ice seems, to me anyway, the, the way the ice is moving, a corner anywhere seems to be a, a good corner. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right now. If this game was a lot closer, I think you'd be afraid to have your corners too tight to the center line. Then that would stop Val's eventual draw to the forefoot. But she needs to do everything she can now. Well, another look at Quebec, Newfoundland, and Labrador, and uh, one, two Reds in there. Uh, this is a simple draw. Simple, sorry. No, it's a complicated. It is. A, is it a draw for the it one? Is. Just this. Okay. It is. Needs full eight, biting the four. 
You might consider tapping that red one back, but with the second shot also belonging to Newfoundland yeah. and Labrador, not much point. Just on the edge there, eh? You know, Russ has said a number of times this Quebec team, and it just slides too far. First time here for uh, Lauren Mann out of the Etcheman and Glenmore. You know, you said, Russ, a couple of times she misses there, gives up the steal. But, uh, you know, with a little experience, she, she's going to be good. Oh, yeah, they played a couple of incredible ends against Ontario, the game I watched, and they... They, they had a little bit of that to be honest right like that where they when they do get in a bit of trouble you know you miss by a foot and now it's you know two point swing you know, it makes all the difference at this level and they're another team that doesn't play on the tour as much so they don't get access to the it, tour go, style go, ice and went through it <laughs> went right through it Come on, that uh, yeah, that cast a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> She's had a great week. Really great week. Yeah, lines tighter. Eight, it's like eight. This one seems like Where? it's going to die or something. Mine's really good. Yep, hard line. If it's any lighter, you got to go long. Six, got to go. Really hard line. Okay, we're probably over curling it already. Just draw. Yeah. Line's good for the draw. Just to your broom. Okay. Well, line's good. You're buried. You're buried. It's good. So in behind cover. What do we do, Sheriff? Corner, Sherry Anderson. That was hard to do. This here. This tape. In front of, sorry, that yellow? Yeah. Okay. Lori Olson John. Flop over on top. You know, Kathy, after they struggled out of the gates, out of the blocks today, uh, Richard Hart called Team Canada over and said, let's have a little chat. And they appear to be playing a little better since then. Oh, much better. It's not even the same team in this last end. So whatever he said worked. Uh, Joanne made a couple of great shots. Uh, on the final stone, Rachel Holman made a fabulous come around to lie shot. Look at this. Boy. That's going to give her a steal that she needs. One red. Steal of one. Team Canada. 3-2. They go to the break. Lori made that great hit and roll. Frozen on top of that Yellowstone. It's... You couldn't have put it in a better spot. Fantastic. I think we have to freeze the other one. Yeah. If we overcurl, though, she can lose all of ours. Yeah. Well, what, Kate, what do you want to do? Roll? If. I think we're okay, because she's got to hit this side. It's going to drag. Okay, Lori. Well, that or we can freeze no. here. We did this one before, right? Yeah. I threw here before. Yeah. So like 70. It was a 70, yeah. Okay. Frozen red on the yellow will also drag and Team Alberta could make the raise a double. 10? You might want to freeze to the outside one, but 10's not a good number. We're through. Now this is just a march. Okay. Okay, Lori. Or 
as a good well, spot. She's got, she can hit that and get rid of both those. Yeah. She's going to be freezing on this, right? Yeah. No matter where you go. So is that, or does that make it easier for her? I know. What if you go here? Thing is, you go there. I guess her freeze like is tough. If you go here, can you leave it double yeah. that way? That's not bad there. I think, I think there. Like, and then she can't freeze there. She's got to hit it or hit yeah, something. I can come this way, though. I mean, I guess she too. could go like this, but then. Yeah. I like that stuff right there. Okay. Well, we played this quite a bit, too, hey? Okay? Yeah. A little more. Okay. I like the positioning here because it stops that back freeze that uh, Lori tried. Even full eight foot, I think, is okay. Top eight. And if Alberta even hits a dead eight, on, there might a be a red higher. double. Yeah, even full eight. Okay, so you can give us uh, 14 nine, Steph. Okay, 15 even. Yeah, 15 is nice, too. Okay. Nova Scotia, British Columbia in a 2 2 tie. And at the moment, it is uh, BC sitting the one back four. Final stone to be played by Nova Scotia's Mary Ann Arsenault, who yesterday we had the day and maybe the, well, the game, considering all her success, it was a different kind of day for her, skipping her own team. She beat both Manitoba and Team Canada, Kathy. Well, and she just made a fabulous shot on her first one. Vic made a double raise to remove the BC shot stone, but BC able to tap it back. She can get two out of this if she can get to the inside. Out of the Mayflower in nice Halifax. Throw. <laughs> nice throw two for two. 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 It's not bad. Yeah. We'll probably get that, but it doesn't yeah. matter if we do or not. Do you like it or? Yeah. It should come off of it at least, I yeah. would think. I think they do have to come off the back of that left hand yellow one and try to maybe stay in front so of the back four foot also, yellow. Yeah. To get the spill back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got it, Val. Are you thinking triple, you mean? Well, I'm, I'm not even so worried about that. If they hit this thick enough that they can come off or thin enough I should say that they can come off the back of that left hand yellow one it might um, slide back to the back one. yeah and, and be sitting in front of the back yellow one a little bit of a yep. wobble on the landing Heart. Val Sweeting Heart. All the way. her Heart. first One, and roll over beside. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's good, Val. Actually, it's good. Not bad. Somebody was groaning. Okay, nice throw, buddy. Or the, there's no red double. No, just a centimeter more. <laughs> yeah. the, the shot red one, the closest red one can definitely fly. Good try. Just curl that the whole way. It's your good. Really good. I thought it was straight. Yeah, I thought it was not. <laughs> yeah. It's being a little conservative. A little but. more curl today. We're, well, we're third. Okay, well, what if you went right there? Is that stupid? Like, what were you thinking of hitting? Because we can't hit that because it well, comes like that. No, no, you hit it straight yeah. through here. Right now, what does she have? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm that's saying. She has, she has this and Did maybe a tap. tap. For two, if, if we don't guard What it, if right? we go there? Well, what happens if we guard this? What yeah. does she, she have, have though? Double? What does she have here though, Marlise? Does she have enough of that to get clip it? She I might guess? have. She might well, have this. She, has she just this. has this. The, 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 the double for two, right? For three. For I two. like this myself, but. Uh, do you like what happens the one if we right do this? there? We can probably come out too, but. Well, we're taking. I don't mind time. that either. The guard on that? Because I don't mind forcing it to center, that right? slash double. Well, this is kind of our easier point for two, I think, is this one. Yeah. I like center line. I like center line. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So they decided to play the guard. Remember now, Marlies Castor is a former skip as well, world junior champion. 
uh, Stephanie's sister. Would you get rid of one of those reds, Russ? You'd like to, and I think the red that's the closest to the right, to the middle uh, is accessible. If you ever hit it thin, that's what they're worried about. Hit it really thin onto the yellow, back onto the back yellow, then it's a free draw or a hit for three. You just can't do that the way the score is. I love this call because, A, it's easy, and I don't think early, there's guys. really any, there's no three, and there'd be a really curl. tough split for Let two is all I see. I like Go Sherry's call guys. coming in top Go button. Go just in case you ever made that. As long smile. as you're partly buried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Wait, easy. Easy. No, 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 no. That's good. Great shot, Steph. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Now, when I said I really like the guard, I thought they were guarding good that. Shot. I was thinking after you left. Because like, you could definitely come there, down with a soft that precise, weight. That one kicks into here get up to the corner, where, like that. And you could roll into yeah, here for two pretty that. easily, I believe. Yeah. I don't see a three anywhere, do you? And if she slashes, no. First hit this but what do, you, wide, what do they do if you come back to the back yellow one? If, if, if they come back, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is... They're going to try this little slash double here, this angle double. Yeah, for two. Yeah, that's... Boy, but if you hit this thin, it's just going to go across the top. No, this way you mean? Yeah, yeah. But and, and you're right because it. I don't think you can hit it too thick. I'd be. I don't think. Well, I don't think they can actually hit it thick enough to hit it that way. So they have to hit it thin this way, and then it might even redirect that way. Believe it or not. Wow. You have to know those angles. It's this is. I thought that split would be a little simpler, but tough shot. It's all up to. Orioles and Johns now, and her whoa, call. Whoa. Nothing whoa. from Brown or Ferguson no, yet. Anything. Going to touch this stone at all. Oh, and then it'll hey. just sit. And it's going to be a steal of one. So it's all going Saskatchewan's way. Up 6 1 at the break. The 2015 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best. Saskatchewan with a record of 6-3 and three, trying to knock off the uh, so far undefeated team from Alberta, Val Sweeting, and they're uh, up comfortably 6-1 after that steal of one. Things are looking good for Stephanie Lawton, who is with Brian Mudrum. Stephanie, coming into this game, Alberta knew they were into the 1-2 game. You guys obviously have some business to take care of. You've been all business in this game. You have to be happy with the focus of your team coming into this contest. Oh, for sure. You know, like the games that we've been playing so far, we've had maybe a couple ends that haven't really worked for us and we're not playing as strong, but, you know, we've came out firing tonight and I'm really, yeah, we're just going to keep it up for the rest of the game. You've always been so strong at this event. Fourth place, your best finish. Is this the year for the podium? Do you feel it? Well, we're certainly hoping so. You know, we have the crowd behind us and the, the support is just wonderful. So we're just going to keep having fun with it and enjoying it. Now I'm curling note. Kevin Glenn, quarterback, came back and had a message for you guys. What did he say to you before the game? Well, he just said good luck and he, he uh, got his picture taken with us and gave us a signed hat, so rider hat. So we're pretty, pr pretty proud and that's pretty awesome. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah, that's the big news. Uh, Kevin Glenn along with the... Uh... VP of Football Operations and General Manager Brendan Tumman. He started, he initially came to the CFL in 2001, signed with Saskatchewan. Now will enter his 15th year signing a new deal with Saskatchewan. So, welcome back to the green, Kevin Glenn. So let's take a look at the numbers. And as you might expect, it's all in favor of Saskatchewan. The uh, struggles really for uh, Val Sweeting at just 50% compared to 98% uh, for Stephanie Lawton. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official copy of the Canadian Curling Association. The 2015 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. By Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. And by World Financial Group. 
helping Canadians have better financial futures. Well, a week from tonight, the TSN crew will be getting all nice and comfortable in uh, Calgary as we get ready for the start of our next season of Champion Stop, the Tim Horton Fryer. Our coverage begins on Saturday, February the 28th from the Saddle Dome. As we welcome you back and welcome those of you who have been watching uh, the Jets and Washington Capitals to Moose Jaw and Mosaic Place and our coverage on this Thursday night. One more draw to be played tomorrow and our featured game Alberta coming in undefeated nine straight wins against Saskatchewan with a record of six and three but so far all Saskatchewan leading six to one after a steal of one and five. And here in six, it will be Alberta and Val Sweeting, the team from the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton that does have last rock. They have the hammer playing the Redstone. Real flat Alberta here so far. They didn't have the angle figured on that, even if they hit it where they wanted to. But uh, you start making excuses, but uh, there's four people in green shirts that are. Uh, <laughs> making quite a few shots too. And I said to you right from the get go I thought would you be upset if you would you understand I guess this is more proper question would you understand if Alberta came out a little flat having clinched a spot in the yeah, one two hard. game against Manitoba that's what we do know to those of you just joining us uh, from the uh, Jets game we do know that Alberta and Manitoba will be in the one two page playoff they are going to play tomorrow in the final draw to determine who gets the last rock team Canada started off very slowly but uh, have picked up one and it's a three two game New Brunswick final stone for her and uh, Sylvie Robichaud out of Moncton Kathy well she's trying to blank that other yellow stone is out Rachel Holman trying to hit and roll in her last one and there's the beak and there's the one so a 4-2 lead for Team Canada that hasn't looked sharp and they're trying to avoid a two-loss day. Yeah. Well, as much as Val, you know, he'd love to win yeah. through if she happens not to win this game, then you got to look at it as a, a wake-up call. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not bad. It reminds no. you, hey, these are not easy games out here. When you're cruising along, sometimes you get a little yep. complacent. And yeah, you can sit here now in the last half and say, let's let's uh, make sure we're releasing it crisp. Let's make sure we've got the speed, the communication, and uh, you get a five and at worst, uh, you'd love to come back here. You still can. There's lots of time, double corner guards, you can score three here in a heartbeat, but you really want to, uh, you've got five ends to prepare for that one two game. And you really want to, uh, you know, you really want to have a great game next game. Yeah. So find some good stuff out of this game. All right. Yep. Okay. Play it tight. Yep. We used to say to each other, Glenn and I, we, let's make them work for it. Let's, yeah. let's, <laughs> sure, they're probably going to win. Well, let's make it 6-5. Let's at least let them sweat. You can't give it to them. Don't let them forget us. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah well. <laughs> yes! Hard! <laughs> Top red? Hard! Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Stephanie Schmidt. Good sleep. She has been brilliant. She just keeps making these shots, just herring all the guards. Yeah, yeah. Little help from the sweepers. And hangs it at the back. So Saskatchewan sitting three, Alberta with last rock. Curling a little more. Line only! Three move your seven. Seven. Seven, eight. It's finishing more. Okay, still can't go. Got it's all there. Here. If you can. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, hard, hard. Nice shot. Very nice. Good. Data Ferguson tucks it around. So here's what we know coming into this 16th draw. Alberta, Manitoba. Into the one, two. They'll decide the last rock tomorrow. Team Canada, Saskatchewan, Northern Ontario, and Ontario, all four chasing the final two playoff spots. Everyone on the right side has 
been eliminated. You don't see it very often, but a double corner guard situation here. I love that. You watched uh, Stephanie Schmidt just, just feather by. If she'd ever ticked, there'd still be guards, and that's what should happen here. There should still be that yellow guard. The yellow guard's pretty tight, so it's raisable, and it's the uh, Saskatchewan color, but two corner guards sometimes on the same side can they really make a difference. I was just going to ask if you'd try and wrap one around again. Ten yeah, you, you, I take a long yeah. look at that. It's uh, Again, though, whoa, because of the fact whoa, that it's the other whoa. color, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's so close. Yeah. Yeah. But if it was a little longer and it was red, yeah. I would be doing that for sure, Vic. Whoa, Avoiding the jam at the back. Shot stone belongs to Saskatchewan. I don't mind a little roll. We take the back. Not much. Okay. Let's make sure we don't jam it. Let's go share. Let's control here, guys. Anderson's a player that has a very unique slide. She always drifts a little towards the center line, but you know, and it's maybe not the perfect delivery as far as alignment goes, but she does it over and over again consistently, and Stephanie knows how to ice her for it, and that's basically the, the art of skipping. The Jim Furyk of curling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sherry's deadly. She makes a ton of shots. And they always said uh, Furyk had one of the strangest swings, and uh, he's arguably the most active from Tita Green in the whole tour. Oh, his loop at the top, yeah, I can't not focus on it right. when he does it. <laughs> yeah, but it's all about release point, right? Or, or make ball yeah. contact point. You could, you could twirl it like a baton if it yeah. comes down and hits it at the right spot. Well, he must get it back into the slot perfectly every time, because that would be the only way. Oh, couples, too, is another one, right? Yeah, that's true. Sorry, Lori. Well, Quebec has picked up two in like six to take a 5-3 lead over Newfoundland like Labrador. Around, and okay. a blank yeah. like a in six. So Nova Scotia okay. maintains like their 4-2 lead. Good job. Yeah. 14-1. That just grinded yeah. on yeah, the that's two. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. Stopped. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. She takes everything with it. We sure. try and roll. Come yes! Yep! Oh! Oh! Skip stones yeah! here in six and. Stephanie Lawton. Whoa, whoa, clean. Whoa. Clean. Take it. Yeah, good shot. And we'll get rid of both. Good shot, Stephanie. Nice. That's tough to generate points, though, in the house. Hey, Russ. The I mean, stones. Yeah. It, it, and especially with this surface and, and these stones. It, it, we, we watched how hard it is to throw a perfect freeze That's with the big curl. That's the big right. problem. Okay. Yeah. And good then they job. can jam it out of there anyways. So I didn't feel like they screwed them either badly, but... No, not, the not, same and that's the thing, it's not, not badly at all. So. Yeah. There's moves a little here. Then you don't yeah, get the opportunities like playing a team like so. because they don't leave rocks yeah, in play. Right. You might get the opportunity to claw back against a team that, you know, maybe wasn't as uh, much of a hitting team, but against these guys, you just don't, won't get the opportunity. And Stephanie's on fire, like, like <laughs> everything, every, <laughs> even the simple shot, she's right on the nose. Where are they going here, trying to roll in behind? Yeah, yeah. Great call, tough shot, great call, and just 
Soften the weight a little bit, hit, hit about half, roll underneath, and then Stephanie's got a decision to make. Do you play that short run, miss it, give up three, Nine or do you draw for two? Whoa, whoa! Roll this. Yes. Yeah, go under. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hard. Hard, oh, Gina. Hard. No, oh, nothing. Okay. Seven. Were they going the other way for a while? Okay. They were, because then all of a sudden they said roll yeah, under, right. so I think uh, they were. I was curious. That's, uh, she's a fair ways off if she was trying to roll the other way. Nine seven. It's in one of those games. I think it sometimes happens, and I've heard her a few times say, you know, I thought it would do this, and so I was trying to make sure I didn't do that. You're just not yeah, throwing, you're overthinking you before you throw, you're not just not throwing at the broom, and she hasn't been doing that all week. She's just been going down and... Yeah, she is, Vic. Yeah, she really is. We've got a couple of close games against teams Very that well you done. think they would Thanks. beat that they barely won. It's just the look. It's 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 uh, Sherry Anderson's look. Like I don't want to say anything to you. You are just you just play your yeah. game, girl, because you're right on. Yeah, you're on fire right now. And and you made a good point before. I thought Cheryl is that yes, there still are the doubters. Because she hasn't been on Just the podium. Us in case we need it. So this is a game we for her to maybe prove something, not only to those people who question her, but prove to herself. Um, and I think she'd love to. I think they believe. I really do. I think, you know, for whatever reason, they haven't had the, they brought their game to the, that level that they needed to at the right time. But, you know, this week they have. And I think that's why Sherry keeps looking at her and bowing down to her because she's playing yes. incredible. <laughs> yeah. Draw against two, and we'll need a, a good piece of the uh, forefoot. Bite the blue. Hot right now, need the backing. No, not even close. And that backing is at the, just the back edge of the four. Final stone. Oh, uh, back line. What to, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Where's the goalie? Sorry. We need That's a goalie. Yep. Oh boy! Oh boy! That kind of night. It's a letdown night for yeah. Alberta. Steal two more. We thought there may be a little bit of a letdown, and I think there is tonight for Alberta, already guaranteed a spot in the 1 2 game, and given up now a steal of three. 8 1. Saskatchewan leads. That means we will go next door and take a look at the game between Team Canada and New Brunswick. Rachel Holman's. Stone on the way. Holman coming in, the de two time defending champions at six and at three. Six and three, New Brunswick, Sylvia Robichaud at two and seven, but uh, Team Canada not playing particularly well. Coming off a loss earlier today to Alberta to drop to that third loss. And trailing here 4 2, Team Canada does have the last draw. They have the hammer here in seven playing the Red Storm. You see something in this Canadian team that is troubling to you, Kathy? Well, it certainly was for the first couple of events, Vic. There weren't a lot of shots made, particularly Joanne Courtney struggling. And then they had that shot with Richard Hart, and they're starting to make a lot more shots. Rachel herself has been playing well. It's just been a little, well, I think it's broom placement issue. I know from talking to Rachel, she does not like this sheet. It is not a comfort for her. They played two previous games on it, and she felt that it changed and was the most unpredictable of all the sheets. Final stone of the end it looks like a lot. for Sylvie Robichaud and this team from Where? Pearl Moncton Three? with Rebecca Atkinson in th no third, Marie order? Richard at second, and Jane yeah, Boyle the lead. It. Finish it. Yeah, finish it. It's uh, you. You mentioned earlier, Kathy, that. Uh, 
Joanne Courtney, who throws the second stone, was struggling. She's only at 64 uh, percent. Emma Miskew at third, 71 percent. And Rachel Holman at 81. My red one stay there. Should with no. I don't know what they were thinking there in New Brunswick. They wanted the guard. They knew it was heavy. But then they brushed it, and if they get to the nose, then when Rachel yeah. throws a rocket down here, that red one's long gone. Now it's a nose hit for two. Yeah. That red should stay. My last one curled quite a bit. As long as I'm peeled, it should only curl an inch. Anywhere short, that was almost yeah. impossible, too. She was heavy on her first one, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Final stone. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Rachel Holman. Bang. Six. Now it needs to sit and in a Good hurry. Shot. Very nice. Yeah. To get a couple. Team Canada will get two here in seven to tie it at four. Well, the big news in uh, Saskatchewan is that Kevin Glenn is coming back to the uh, Rough Riders, the team that he started with, Brian, 14 years ago. So, uh, and Mr. Glenn is here to watch. Hey, Vic, thank you very much. And that round of applause for Kevin Glenn. Kevin, congratulations on being back here in Saskatchewan. Of course, your CFL career started here. Great roots here. Literally, we've been hanging out for maybe five, ten minutes, and you've had a number of people coming over, wanting selfies, wanting to say hi. A lot of Sasky jerseys in the house. What does it mean to you to be back here? Uh, it feels great. You know, it uh, feels like I'm back home. You know, and I think that everybody's been coming around here just because of the TSN, Mike. <laughs> everybody's trying to get on television, I think. <laughs> but no, it, feel, it feels great to be back. You know, uh, uh, my, I, I, my son is probably the biggest recruiter, you know, for the Rough Riders right now. He's the one that told me, to, you know, to choose Saskatchewan. But uh, like, like I said before, it, it feels very good to be home. You told me this is your first ever Scotties, and you wanted to make an effort to come and watch. How much did you know about curling? Obviously, you spent time in Canada, but how much did you know about curling? Uh, well, I did know there was a thrower and a sweeper, and I know that you don't want to be the sweeper because you could fall, you know, and embarrass yourself. But uh, I've been getting kind of schooled up by Brendan and, and Jeremy O'Day about the, the different lingo and terms, and I know that the hammer is the person who has the last throw, and the reason why you know that is because of the hammer on the scoreboard. So I've been learning a little bit. Be hey, careful. You keep that up. You're going to put Russ Howard out of business up there. Have you actually tried to throw a stone before? No, I think I'll uh, I'll stick to my day job. You know, I don't I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I I'll probably have to have a little practice. You know, before I went in front of a you know a crowd like this to actually throw one. So we talked to Stephanie at the break, and you had a chance to walk over and say hi, have a photo, and sign a hat. What was your message uh, to the ladies? It was pretty much just good luck. You know, I tried to get her attention uh, at first, and then another one of the, uh, the her teammates turned around, and she was like. What do you want? You want an autograph? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I just want to give you a hat, <laughs> tell you good luck. So um, I hope I didn't, you know, offend her in any way. I would love to get their autographs after this because after watching this, um, there's some there's some superstars out here. So, but uh, I just actually gave them a hat, a Rough Rider hat, told them good luck, and actually they've had a lot of luck. Listen, you might be the next Vernon Davis of Saskatchewan, of course, at the 2010 Olympic Games. Football player, well known in the states, ambassador for the United States of the Olympics. Are you going to be maybe Skasky's new curling ambassador? I could be. Uh, we have to we have to talk to our GM about that and see if we can uh, we can make that happen. Who 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 are the two people that we need to talk to on their end and our end to make that happen? But that that could be possible. Listen, thank you so much for your time, Kevin, and welcome back to Saskatchewan. All right, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, he uh, makes his return, and you certainly don't have to go far anywhere in Saskatchewan to see the uh, Saskatchewan green everywhere. There is a lot of uh, rider pride and uh, as he makes his return after starting 17 games last year for BC Kevin Glenn comes back to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and we come back to this game between Canada and New Brunswick tied at four. And here in the eighth, it'll be New Brunswick. The team from Moncton does have the last rock playing the Yellowstones. Just right here. Yeah, maybe. Now, just to follow up on some of those numbers earlier today, we saw Joanne Courtney struggle. Uh, but they picked it up in the second half. Uh, Emma Miskew, uh, more of a problem with. 
Lisa Weigel at the lead. They, it hasn't been a sharp day for the uh, two def two time defending champions. But look at her now, 88 percent so far. It's always a sign of a you know impressive player that has the ability to bounce back and back to back games when you struggle the first one and then reset yourself and come out and bounce back and have a great game the next one. A little fortune to get that too though. Uh, New Brunswick had a uh, golden opportunity to lob a guard up there and make it real tough. They did. On even an opportunity on Sylvie's first one yes, to the come wire went around in the come around, but deep. Just breeze. Greg. You know, just looking back here on the game we started with Saskatchewan is leading Alberta eight to one. Tomorrow's final round robin draw will be Alberta playing Manitoba and it will be for first place. I'll be interested to see how Alberta mm -hmm. comes out for that one. Because I tell you what, Mani Manitoba Jennifer Jones, they dropped that one to Nova Scotia yesterday morning and they've come out now and just, they've been mean. Wow. Their attitude, the way they've played. Have they ever? Yeah, number one in stats now. They're up to 85%. And when they had some games in the 79, 80, 80 range, and it looked like they were kind of just cruising in neutral, which won't get it done. The last three games, 84, 87, 91 for Jones. Yeah. Kind of similar to what you see so many times, Vic, where you, you and I have sat there and gone, Ooh, are they going to make the playoffs? Yeah, Next yeah. thing you know, they're untouchable. Yeah. So it'll be... Uh, an interesting morning to see how Alberta bounces back. The line's pretty good. Okay, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah, not the numbers you'd expect from uh, somebody of the quality of Whoa. Joanne Courtney. Yep, yep. Clean, clean, clean. Just clean. seven. Great drill. Beauty. There you go. That's, that's also a... <laughs> When the skip, Cheryl needs to know how to manage your player. She knows. Rachel knows she's struggling. And you have to just provide a little bit of positive, don't you? You do. You, you know, you have to tell some of the good things that you're seeing out there. Um, that's what we'd always try to focus on. If somebody was struggling, you know, you're doing this really great. Watch your kick or whatever it is that you're struggling with. You've got to find the positive. But you also do have to be able to have the kind of relationship that you can give some constructive criticism back. Now, if she throws it into the parking lot and hits your car, you're yeah. not. Yeah, it's so. not going to be a good nah. conversation. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> then you don't say anything. No. That's what I think you just... You just give her the bill for the damage <laughs> and say, here. Yeah, there's many times that silence was the best oh, response. <laughs> I can imagine. Three. What? That icy don't stare from yeah. Cheryl Bernard. Three. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Oh, only and my husband knows that one. Just, uh, <laughs> whoa. Three. I feel like I feel All like there. somebody is just talking about I'm me. Good. <laughs> Three. Three. I feel somebody's <laughs> eyes on my back. <laughs> Friends can unlock that top rock if they want. If they miss it, hit the yellow. That might even be a, a better. They're a shot right now. Oh. They're really bad. Yeah. I was just wondering if we should run it into this and move these around. Yeah. It's going to be bad, but. Just like cross face it. Let's try that. I think it's going to be gross. Well, she really wants to score this end, so opening it up. Yeah. You know, score even one in the eighth is great. Hurry, Richard. Hurry up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. Just a little higher than Joe's? Yeah. Just touch center. Yeah, just a touch higher. This, I see this couple ends going. Talk about the angle battle. The third rock in that pile is a yellow one that stayed a little wide, and the Canada got to the inside, and that makes all good. the difference. Three, wait for line. Yeah, Red's got the uh, mm -hmm. the angles two one right now Make sitting sure. there. Two and a half. Whoa, whoa. Make sure we're two. Make sure we're two. Yep, Make finish two. hard. All the way. Yep, yep. <laughs> great sweep, guys. Whoa, great sweep. Great sweep. Right I can't see it. If you just throw here, the 
great yeah. shot if you can make it. It's just buried. You want to call timeout? Well, I think look at it for. What do you want to do? Well, so let's just update you on scores as well. I can't move and they blanked the seven. Saskatchewan continues like to lead the game there. that we started with. Guard, Newfoundland Labrador picked up a single in seven. Game. Quebec still leading there. And back to back blanks, six and seven. Nova Scotia still by two over BC. Do you don't see any of this? No. But um, if you throw time. Okay. Rebecca Atkinson down the third. The uh, most experienced of the players on this team, having spent. Uh, just, for her, this is a fourth straight title. New Brunswick championship for her after three straight with uh, Andrea Crawford. They're just going to guard it. Yeah, they can't even do that because they're gonna. You gotta move ball. these around to, yeah, for I us do. to score. I mean, I can try to throw like a really skinny peel, but. Well, I would just throw here. Man. I have, man. I've got an internal clock. Rachel, I was actually gonna give you one. <laughs> Around the neck. So see what's your last shot? Would you hit live free or would you guard? You know what I mean? Like it looks like they. I think leave them the out turn draw. Like it's, right on up what's first there? And you've got one left. Did you hit the red? I think we. I don't mind the steal. No. Or did you just leave it the way it is now? Just take the one. Just to play the I think I can jiggle it off. She's got an open draw for one. You could just play the straight draw here. Freeze to that red one. And Rachel's got to be a little careful. Yeah, because the problem with throwing any weight at oh, this, yeah. you ever roll. Back eight. Back eight, the other option, I guess, if you threw like a back line, yeah. chip that red clean, roll away, you might, you might even be first and third, or first and second possibly. Is that a lot of ice? But it just invites yeah, that freeze, play, that freeze to the button. I think it's Richard and they couldn't save it. Yep. Yeah, Marty, go, 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 sweep it. Yes, Whoa. yes, yes, go, go, go. Oh, sweep take it. Go, 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 go. Good. Okay. Can we guard center now? How's it going? Okay. Light's okay. Light's okay. Yeah. It was a shot that I'm not sure Cheryl. Rebecca Atkinson wanted to yeah. play. So no, she didn't like the ice to start okay, when so she threw. Uh, um, and then I don't know that she actually okay. believed it was there. So in handling your player as a skin, you want them to play that shot. How do you convince them? Or is it like any sport, just do what you're told, uh, run that pattern, go into the crease, just do what you're told. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I'm not a believer of that. I think you need to have them buy into the shot. So that's just a conversation. Do you like this? What don't you like about it? What do you prefer? I mean, they have to throw it and you want to get a made shot from them. So I do think it's worth the conversation. Tough having a player throw a shot they don't see. Yeah, but if she doesn't see it at that point in time, are you going to change your shot, your, your idea? Not really, right? Well, I mean, I guess Steph, the, the, uh, or Rebecca, the other option was uh, the draw, and I think she was leaning more towards the draw, possibly, which I didn't mind that call either. Right. So. Draw was easier. You could just carry them off that top red uh, or the yellow and be r right in there, and you might not be shot, but it would be a very dangerous situation because if you ever got a crack at that, you could sit three. It's the shot you're going to make, I think, is more... The problem now is uh, Rebecca makes this double. Yep, yep. Whoa, yep. And then whoa, they could be looking whoa, at three. Whoa, whoa. In. Okay. 
Four four on the scoreboard as we check the numbers for the two skips. That's 31 percent on draw weight for Sylvie Robichaud, but has the advantage at hits when you would think that uh, that would be the game of uh, Rachel Holman. Although you know, 85 and 81 in her game is the numbers. Are brought to you by Ford, a proud partner with the Canadian Curling Association for 21 years. She does now play Russ a more balanced game. Yeah, no question about it. They, a lot more draws. Her draw percentage is higher than I've ever seen it, but her hitting percentage has dropped a fraction. Whether it's a tricky rice or not getting the broom in the right spot, but uh, it's a lot like golf again. You know, you you have trouble putting, you work on your putting, and then you can't chip. Gotta get over. do you get it all together? <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, you're there, you're there, you're there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Great sequence. Nice one. Nice throw. Because both we'll just draw right to the, right to the pocket. Tough draw for Sylvie. Mm. Um, at worst, we like, Yeah, they're just going to throw a guard on it, but yeah. Um, you just move it an inch, you lay two. Oh, that, that changes everything. It's taken enough ice for this team. They just, everything is hurled, eh? panic sweep oh, to get it by the guard because good. they haven't taken enough ice. Then you're hair deep. Yeah. Is the call to move it? Is that what she's playing? I assume. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, I think it's red. It is. But you only have to move it at, what, half an inch. You're laying maybe two. Sylvie Robichaud, her second appearance at the Scotties, went 1 and 10, 2008 in Regina. Here she's already one game better, coming in at 2 and 7. Well, there's a big scrub and a big carry if they can get it there, but now they roll it off that center guard. She got this for three or two, so we could guard that rock. She has this, but I don't think the angles are great for that. No. Call time. Time. I think all Sylvie has is that yellow yeah. raise. Yeah. Yeah. So you guard oh, that, sure. or unless you can make around. that bullet off the wall, but you yeah, have to. Close that would hurt to get that hurt. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's close, but it looks like it. So, I'm thinking there is a reason she shot running the yellow in. Yeah. She can kind of do that without any risk, can't she? Yeah. yeah. Like if she runs it straight onto the red and picks it, it's almost for two or three, right? Yeah. So we need to try to take that away? Either. Like that, well, do we hit the two and get rid of those rocks, or do we guard the five? Can I just hit that five? Yeah. Then, then she's got the draw for one. No, she doesn't. Not if I oh, knows she... that. I know. It's just we knows, and there's a fine line between moving that seven too far over and giving her the pick out. Well, no, like my rock's not going anywhere, Em. Even if I drill this, it's it. It's, there's nowhere oh, for okay. it to go. I'm I know. Just, I I'm sitting want... way on this side. I just don't want to move this and that. Well, yeah, yeah, that seems easier than it. I mean, whatever you think's easier, Rachel. I just thought guarding it might be easier, but if you like it. if I really hit this, my rock's gonna be there. Okay, if, no you, if you like the hit, then fine. If you prefer the hit, sure, but. I don't even know if we shot. Well, at first, you know what? On that very tight shot, Sylvie Robichaud believes that they are shot. But when we zoomed in, I think it may in fact be Team Canada. Looks like, shot. looks like red to me. This blocks off the pick. So why mess? I agree. And even it's it's one point. Now granted, one in the eighth, but. You not just take your chance here, guard, or looks like red. Well, Rachel would like she'd set the whole end up to play this run to red, go through the hole and play this red, and then it'll definitely be red. If I hit that outside guard, we roll and guard that anyway. That's what she's wanted she to play all along, here. in my opinion, because they were so happy with the angles and they guarded, 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 and then it didn't quite work out the way they wanted. But she can come through that hole, tap it, and guarantee the one. But it, I think we all agree it already is one, so. I don't think she can hurt herself over here, even if she wrecks. 
Sylvie's still got that really tough raise. I think he might spring that top red rock maybe over to the left and in the way of that raise. Yeah. Okay. Right, if you wreck, yes. A couple ends ago. Tighter line, a little slower in the middle. Eh? Okay, a little extra then. It's the final shown for Team Canada here in this Seven, eight. Eight. Oh, Brunswick does eight. have last oh, rock. Oh, a little light. Yeah. And a little light. You hear Joanne eight. Courtney as she eight. and Weagle have picked this oh. up now. Whoa, whoa. It's not bad. We want to just to go quickly back to the game we started with. Gets it done. Saskatchewan leading 8-1 over Alberta as they play in eight. Final stone of the end for Fire! Alberta and Val Sweeting. <laughs> well, that's sort of indicative of the kind of game it's been. Yeah. So have some fun. You better believe it. Come on, girls. Carry that stone. Carry that skipper all the way down. And right to the lid. There you go. <laughs> That'll win you some fans, even here in Moose Jaw. Saskatchewan will pick up the win. They get the added point, make the final nine to one. So Alberta loses their first, their nine and one. Play Manitoba tomorrow, decide first place. Saskatchewan goes to seven and three. I have a feeling they heard us. And uh, listen to that as uh, Stephanie Lawton makes her way down the other end of the ice. To pick up her uh, gloves and slider. And now we're watching final stone for Sylvie Robichaud. Out of Curl Moncton. Really close between who may be shot. Angle it back. Oh, and then she'll slide on by. And now. Oh, yeah. I would think. You agree with me? I think it could be uh, Team Canada, Russ. It, it looks like red, uh, but with with the hearts, it, it it always makes it tougher because which part of the heart you have it makes it, it kind of distorts it a little bit. But yeah. So I'm saying it could be, might be, maybe red. Oh, come on. Red. But it is your birthday. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll give you that. Okay. Listen to the crowd as Stephanie Lawton makes her way down the ice. Uh, yeah, reason to smile. Wow. Seven and three. Big victory. <laughs> Huge point in this game, too. It even ends who gets control, who has hammer potentially in ten. This is a, this is a big game for Team Canada. Of course, they lost earlier today. They come in at three losses. So where are we going here? All right, back and at two. Now keep it going around. This is as tight a measure as you just may yeah. see. Come around, come around, come around, come around. Up to the two. No, no. It is red. So Team Canada steals one. It's time now for the M&M Meat Shop's Final End Challenge. And right after the game, go to finalend.ca. That is the secret word. For a chance to win an all-expense-paid trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. And that includes tickets, hotel, airfare. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card. And all participants will get an M&M discount. Finalend.ca. We'll give you the secret word, and then you go there right after the game. Yeah, Stephanie Lott, this place uh, will be rocking. She gets to the playoffs on the weekend, looking good right now at 7-3 and three with one draw to play tomorrow. And as we check the game story, yes, it was about steals, but just look at the bottom. 
Val Sweeting at 52%, Stephanie Lawton at 94%. That tells you all you need to know about the game. The game story brought to you by Travelers. It's better under the umbrella. So we have one more day of round robin play. And uh, the standings now adjusted. Alberta has lost their first. They play Man Manitoba in the morning. And that will be for the last rock in the one-two page playoff. Saskatchewan is at seven and three. Team Canada would like to join them. They're on the ice and leading, of course. And then Northern Ontario at four losses. Tomorrow they will play Team Canada. And then Ontario needs a little bit of help to get into this. In fact, I think now Ontario may be eliminated, but I'll have to check that and check the numbers with that win by Saskatchewan. But we'll take a look here. So the steal of one, and Team Canada leads it. And here in the ninth, New Brunswick has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the uh, Yellowstone. Is it just a pick or is there a double? Well, if we hit it there, then both yellows go. That was a great steal for okay. Holman last in to go up one point, but it also gives them a chance if they don't let uh, New Brunswick blank out here, a chance for Hammer and 10. Yeah. And they might be letting them blank out by playing this shot. You definitely are worried about the New Brunswick stones, but you could move a lot of granite here and end up a possible blank. Yeah. Yeah, so just to confirm and work in the numbers here, because of that win by Saskatchewan, they were the only team that could have fallen back. So they could have fallen back to two spots. Their win now eliminates Team Ontario. So we know that now is a, a fact as well. Team Canada, this is all important. You can hit and roll to the side. They can get by this and keep Back pace up. with Saskatchewan. Sport. Solid hack. Yeah. Get over. Good throw. Good job. And they're leading by one. He's going to hit and roll open. Trying to keep the blank alive. Just a 10. Yep. Yep. Hey. 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 Yep. Hey. Good. These are high pressure shots because they don't Whoa. roll out and Normal? <laughs> no. it's a blank. You saw Quebec extended oh, their lead. Oh, no, 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 never, never, never. And BC with one and eight has cut into the lead of Nova Scotia. Okay. Yeah. 
Rebecca Atkinson. Yep. Hard. 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 Yep. Roll. Three. And rolling it underneath. Very nice. That was either really good or really bad. <laughs> if Emma sticks this run back, then you're gonna have to make a double. Yep. Whoa. -hoo. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Hard. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Hard. Hard. Oh boy, did she ever! Absolutely stuffed it underneath. Beautiful shot. She's looking at the come around. That's uh, from someone who is struggling at 71%. So big shot at the right time. This looks like tight ice here. We haven't covered the whole game, but usually that'll take you to about the button. So there's a rock in the way of the button. So. Brunswick's had a few of these where they have to panic sweep it to get it by and then it ends up back four back eight well and i think what happens too if you ice off of team canada who throws a lot more rotation yes. it doesn't throw as much yeah and there it goes and it's going and going yep yep yeah 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 boy that's just yeah just to die this chance that's so where i do think team canada does get you know away with Mm -hmm. Teams Topping icing off them for really a while until you learn that. that they just throw so yeah. much rotation and have a little set on their rocks and they, you know New Brunswick doesn't throw that way. We used to watch uh, that from Bing Yi Wang from China where, <laughs> where, oh, they, goodness. where they hook everything back right and they, they're taking in practice they're taking off the sheet and everybody else is edge of the eight and there's, there's a good 15 inches difference and it's almost the reverse with Holman. I know I closed my eyes when they were throwing when we played them you just you couldn't watch. Yeah. Where? That should be tight ice. Okay, I was gonna. That short run, I think, is what you might have played, to Cheryl, to yeah. try to blank. I would. One or seven. One. So blank would be huge this end. Now they have to worry about scoring. That's a learning curve, isn't it? They hit and rolled underneath. Not. You want that same way? Whereas they could have just yeah. nosed it. Race close. Yep, fine. Well, that's Take just kind of sticking with the plan, Finish. isn't it? You were, you were playing Whoa, for the blind stick with yep. that. Whoa. Rachel Holman and her first. Coming through, coming through, coming through, excuse me. And tap it up. Great shot. To sit the two. Oh, perfect angle on that. Just cross face. Shows an edge to edge of both. At least I have this, maybe. If she, like if, try this. Yeah, that's fine. And then if you open something up, if I open it up, I open it up. Like I can even hit it to hit this one. A bunch of I options here. You come down and no, play this, mean, like, this double. Um, yeah, this open things up. Yeah. You could play soft weight, hit this one, roll over here, sit second shot and make Try Rachel throw a good one. Nine. And what they're looking at is running in here. And if you ever made it really good, hit and roll maybe right there. Not sure Rachel has a shot. And the plan B of this one is hit it a little thinner and get it onto at least that one. If you could hit and stay off of either one, you're hanging in there this end. Maybe just a hair more. Yeah.
Sylvie Robichaud. Get it thin. Watch that one. Good, Sylvie. It's pretty good. This is a spot you threw down normal, and we held it here. So yeah. Rachel has to do something with it. Like same weight? Down normal, yeah. Okay. I need more ice. She knows that at least she can score, and if she rolls a little bit, you might be able to double them off and blank. Sorry. Down normal. A little hit and roll. We know this spot, eh? Yeah. A little straighter in the middle here. Okay. Hers didn't come up at all. Down normal? Yep. Final stone for Team Canada. Please. Off, off, off. Right off. the shooter and get the blank? Yes, there certainly is. You have to throw some weight, but it's there. Pardon? I think this way is easier just for the one. But if you're going to go... Might as... That's what I mean. Why don't you play that and play the blank? Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. Like... Half misses it, I think. Yeah, it has to be three quarters, I think, with big weight. Did I just hear the word half? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Little, uh, yeah, three quarters, and that's why you need the big weight, isn't it, to kick that across. And spring your shooter out. You think I need to throw peel? Yeah. Okay, maybe less. Just not too much off nose is real close. This is where lots of rotation is an advantage. You yeah. get more action off your shooter. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Final stone Whoa. looking to make the Whoa. double Whoa. get the blank. Yeah. 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 Bang. One, two. One goes there. One goes there. One goes there. Great shot. Sylvie Rober show. Keep that all important last rock. And take it to the 10th. Team Canada leads at 5-4 on a Thursday night from Moose The 2015 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the exceptional women of the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. The 2015 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years, by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best, and by Tim Hortons, official coffee of the Canadian Curling Association. Well, it's time now for the M&M Meat Shops Final End Challenge, and the secret word is E Order. Right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter that secret word E order for a chance to win an all expense trade pay trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. It took me a second. I was going to reorder. Reorder. How are you supposed to do with that? Kevin Glenn announcing today that he was returning to the team that he began his CFL career with 14 years ago, Saskatchewan, and beating the team Saskatchewan out of the Montana in Saskatoon, Stephanie Lawton, Sherry Anderson, Stephanie Schmidt, Marlene Kasner get their hats, and it was a picture. So congratulations to the riders. They're signing Kevin Glenn, about to start his 15th season in the Canadian Football League. And of course, the cameras here, some of them will be following him and the Rough Riders when a new 
CFL season begins on TSA. The blank in nine. Five four, Team Canada leads it. New Brunswick will look to tie or win it here in 10, and they have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Jane Ball yep, came in a little bit uh, on the narrow down. side, tapped the Canadian stone in, and it's kind of game on here for Canada. They got a nice little grouping. Didn't get the curl there, though. They wanted to get to that center line at least. I don't have a grip. Okay, I got it. What? Yeah, go ahead. Try to get the long roll. Newfoundland Labrador. Heather Strong, St. John's picks up one in nine. Quebec still leads coming home. We have plenty of time. Yeah. And British Columbia has stolen one in nine. To tie Nova Scotia, Marianne Arsenault from Halifax. But the Blue Nosers will have the last rock in 10. Nine. Smart to move a little bit of this stuff out of the way yeah. they need to be able to have access to the forefoot to make sure they at least score. You've got a corner guard set up so yeah. that they're not bad there. Nine. Try to save this yeah. shooter. Yeah. Curry Richard and does save it. Gets rid of one. Hmm. Interesting. What do you guys like? I think we have to guard. You guard. Okay. New Brunswick throws a soft weight yeah. double. You just guarded a enemy rock. Seven, six, seven. I don't, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We play the guard. She makes a double and roll and sits two. Is it bad to corner that yellow on the outside? Good. We can't draw. The out a little tough through that four day. Eh? Yep. Yeah. That's good though. It's for her. I don't find cornering it. Just okay. we, if I'm a we little can't, late. We can't guard this yellow. No, okay. but even if I'm like, yeah, if you're light, it's okay. Yeah, even a three is fine. Yeah. Okay. Hey. We just looked at the line. I think you got to get out there. Yeah. It'll come up. It'll look like it's not going to, and then it will. Well thought out. That was really good. And it's not just the skip that's reading the ice, is it? That was Emma that saying, like, it'll, it'll yeah. run for a long time. It doesn't look like it's going to curl, but yeah. from hog line, it'll bust. Yeah, she's trying to get it in Joanne's head, like, believe the ice, yeah. get out to the broom. It will look like a lot. It's a final on sheet C, and Quebec wins 7-5. <laughs> over Newfoundland Labrador, so Quebec three and eight, yeah. Newfoundland and Labrador four and seven. Line's great, hard. You gotta go. Hold the line. Okay, stop, stop. And stop. their uh, Scotties is over. They will not play tomorrow on the final draw. Be sweet. Over curled on them. It's a lot of swing. It really is. Perfect weight. Quarter. Hit this quarter. It's going to hit here to hit this one. Heel. Are we going to lose our rock? Are we going to lose the one in the house? What? Are we going to lose our yellow? No, it's going to jam on this. Okay. Tempting to be less weight than that. Like the idea, what they're trying to do is tap that red one where Sylvie's standing out. But you don't need to throw it overhand to do that. Oh. Yeah. Back one? Back. Yep. Yep. Plan B. Well. Good. Okay. Oh, Really 
Might be easier to hit high side. Sorry? Might be easier to nudge it high side. Like not cross. Yeah, I know. It's up this right here. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to roll. Yeah. One of the best teams in the Top world eight. changing the we angles. We could hit this. I don't mind the split for now. It's tough. Very patient. They know how to set the angles up and and then use their big weight ability yes. later to use yes. them. And that's exactly back to our opening, wasn't it, Cheryl? We talked to exactly about that, if they can, Team Canada, get those angles. It should be good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Whoa, no, line. it's close. Five. Four, five. Five. Yeah. Let it curl, let it curl. Let it curl. Okay, five, six. Yeah, right to this. Yep. Yeah. Little tap to that. Oh. Really good. Uh, New Brunswick still got the red oh. yellow to sit two oh. for the time being. Oh. That one. Okay. I'm thinking like 11. Triple tap it. Is that going to be enough? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to move it that far. You just got to bring it there. I like the yeah. weight call this time. Yes. <laughs> You don't need to throw, <laughs> hit, you know, board, hack, back. Yeah. I'd sure love to get it out of the rings, I guess, but it doesn't have to be a rocket. Oh. Rebecca Atkinson. Oh. As we play oh. third stones here in no. this 10th 5-4 no. Team no. Canada. No, 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 no. Yeah. Go, so let's look ahead to tomorrow. Alberta, Manitoba, they will play for the last rock in first place. They both be in the 1 2 game. Ontario, with the win by Saskatchewan tonight, has been eliminated. They'll finish against New Brunswick. Northern Ontario against Team Canada. PEI will play Saskatchewan. There is the potential, as uh, Team Canada wants to talk about it, if New Brunswick beats Team Canada tonight, there would be no tiebreakers because Northern Ontario and Team Canada would play for that fourth spot. If Team Canada wins and they're leading, there is the potential for three teams to finish at four losses. We'll figure that out as this game comes to an end. It's hard. It hurts my eye. <laughs> Nova Scotia and Marianne Arsenault drawing the top of the forefoot for the win. 5-4, the final there. So a 5-6. Scotty. You sounded weird. <laughs> for Nova Scotia and BC. Thanks, good game. A way to hang in there early for uh, Nova Scotia. They started rough, yeah. Lost a couple, three close ones early. Now the angle raises there to get one yellow. Will it get both? It might. And just runs it by the the shot stone right now. New Brunswick curled on her, sitting the two, needing two for the win. Wow. Nice throw, Em. Curled. Hmm. Nice throw, it curled. Oh, I get the feeling with Team Canada tonight with the misses has been more putting the broom down than it has been the throwing because yes. even on that one Rachel said Emma threw it really well it was kind of yeah. small for a draw well that's what I was thinking I mean it's there but yeah. I think if you get through this hole okay. you're on top of that well, do you want to just put a guard then she has the run after but at yeah. least we have we still have these yeah 
Well, it's there, but yeah, it's oh, there. I like the draw. The guard. Yeah. Do you like the guard? Yeah. Okay. Take your time, Rick. I get two to fill me? Yeah. What do you think for a split? 95. This is my second rock, too, eh? Okay. They've elected to throw the guard because that's a dangerous Maybe rock, more. but that will give Rachel, albeit a tough draw, they got a skinny by that guard because of the movement. Can they get by there? They almost have to throw it a little heavy, maybe that end up like in this area. Sorry, but that yeah, could be the left. winning point. They've left it for Team Canada, but probably the better play because this raise is pretty simple. They are wearing, uh, they may be the slowest team out here this week, though, there's no <laughs> doubt. They are, again, uh, flirting with the clocks. They've already taken a timeout. Clean it. Just lightly. clean. Line's pretty good on its own. Whoa. Line's pretty good. You might have to finish it. No, I don't think you do. Three. Whoa, 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 baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is good. Okay, good. That one goes. Sorry? Okay. I like Rachel's chance for making this shot because of the way she throws yes. it. Yes. There's, there's no double. Hmm? Even if she doesn't throw, I don't have a shot. So, you know what I mean? Did that guard you know, over curl? That even if we come around, she's got rocks to play with. Not really. So how does she? How so. does she run that? No. There's no angle for her to run this. Okay. At all. The bad news for uh, New Brunswick here is if this gets through the port, it's probably buried. It's not a. It's there. Yeah. Yeah, that's tight with the amount of curl they've had. You can tick off the shot rock and still be mostly buried though because of the long guard center. Just like. If we do this, you can get through the hole with weight. You want to call it time? Time. I just, I don't know that I can make this draw. I was wondering if we were to come through here. Comes off the wall. And, yeah, yeah. If they were a little steeper. I don't know that I can make it through. I don't, I don't know. Is there what else you would do? the yellow like this. I mean, if you were to make, you know, yellow straight on the nose onto the red, kill one of them, they're going to be shot still. They're inevitably going to have that draw for the win. So it's a matter of whether you want to make it or you want them to make it. I don't think it's there though, Rich. Like okay, well that's great. If it's not, then they can't make it either. Because I think it comes off the wall. Oh, right. Okay. And you got to throw it so right. hard. So it doesn't sound like you want to play it. Then let's let's run the yellow back. If you don't want to play that drop. Okay. Do you I like it right on the nose? Here, or? Eh? Yeah, I was I wasn't outward with it at all. You weren't out with, outward with it. So if I am, you think it'll hang there? Yeah. Okay. The draw is tough. The long run back's tough. But I think this is Rachel's skill set, and she if she's not convinced with that draw, you can see there's the port. I think. I think you can get through the you can get through the port, no problem. You might skim off that shot rock, but it it would still be mostly buried. I thought uh, Richard Hart was right when he said, "Look at you want to play the draw." I don't think it's there. Well, then it's not there for them either. <laughs> yeah, that's an excellent excellent <laughs> answer. Great point. Rachel makes a ton of these too. Oh, oh, oh. Still leaves the uh, team from Moncton sitting the two, two they need to win. Well, yeah. She's got this though. Do yeah, you right? still, do you still think? I can block everything. Or do you think rather? Well, what do you do this? Do you want to call a timeout? Yeah. Time. As much as we've said that Time. Rachel has picked up and improved her soft game, if, her defense always is to go back to the hit game, Russ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's just the way she plays, and then, and I think every curler's got a slight favorite. You're gonna go just go here. 
Exactly. You're going to run the red in, right? Yeah. As long as you got a drop for uh, the win. She may be able to get rid of both. But at least she'll be up here. And then you still have to get in, though. Yeah, well, if we guard, she's got that, which I think she can probably make. Yeah. That's... I mean, you're right, we can't guard all of them, but... Well, then she still has that, right? Like, I think we better... Wouldn't we take our chances on this? Yeah. If you put this right there, okay. it's gonna overcurl though. That's the thing. Don't you almost want to bump this a little bit? Like if we bump it a little bit, that makes sense. Are we gonna leave anything? If we Pardon? Do are we gonna leave? Oh yeah, she's still gonna have that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, do we? Are we on yet? No, no we're still good. Um, do we just sit here? You gotta. Eat. And I think she can get rid of all of them. Exactly. Or if we bump a little bit, like if we bump that back to here. Can she get rid of all of them? I think we stay here. That's yeah, fine too, I guess, as long as we're third shot. Because then if she blesses this, okay. I might have a shot for So two. you want to come here then? Yeah. Yeah. All right, after it's all decided, do you all like right, that? Coming in for, uh, to sit maybe third shot? Well, in my opinion, it all depends on where this goes. If Rachel threw that. right now, she kicks this one out. She gets rid of this one for sure, but I think you're going to hit that a little thick, and you might not get that rock out. That's the key, Cheryl. If, if can she make that angle double right now? Do you think she can? Uh, it's really it's, close. It's if, close. If it's not there, you throw a long guard here. But they're going to come in and try to sit for third shot, just into the eight foot. I like that too, but you could you could make it easier. Yeah, you I just your group in the stones yeah, and with Rachel yeah. having. Four. If this over curls, you tap it back and Four might set up can. a triple. Four. Four. It's you don't have line yet, but it should go. Okay. Four. Make sure it's both you have to. Go. Whoa, whoa. Where? Whoa. Four. 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 You're whoa. fine if you have to. Whoa. Wait, it's really nice. Whoa, Wait, it's really whoa. nice. Whoa. Maybe a little rub and roll off to sit. Tip, tip, roll, roll, roll. Well, there it is. I don't know if it's third shot. I don't think so. Just a reminder, stay with us. Sports Center comes your way. Immediately following our coverage here in Moose Jaw. It's pretty good. It's really good. <laughs> she, she even like rubbed the red and improved that more so for New Brunswick. The other thing, too, is if uh, they do end up playing that come around that Rachel isn't sure is there, and now there's a pretty easy double raise. Really? I, think, I think the come around is all she really has. And, but if she makes Try it, and nudge it over. You know, here, there's a pretty easy double raise there. Just don't really want to roll anything though. What? Can you get back there? How do you get back? Then to my the shooter back spins forward? up, and then I think with what turn? Good. Creative throwing with the out turn. Uh, okay. I, I think it's there, Vic. With uh, Rachel can throw it pretty straight yeah. and get it back there with some speed. But okay. Rachel's. I think what you can do here is just throw it. Fairly hard. Because uh, it just pushes it down. Try then to if I come off of kick it. Kick right? this red into that area, what? and then it's tough for Sylvie to get at. So you almost have to, what, crotch the red and yellow on the right side. That's yeah, exactly the problem because you want to hit this red really thin, and you might run so into this here? one before you do that. Mine didn't move though. I'm. Could have well, she it out. said to Richard Hart that I that draw wasn't down, there. Though. She never believed it was there, so she's. If she doesn't believe it, she's not going to throw it. No. You don't want to draw? You could actually make a case, Cheryl. You could hit that outside yellow at 2 o'clock. Run, and Even then you I kick the red over the into the pocket, pocket, maybe frozen to the shot rock. You guys want to hit or draw? Throw really hard. Yep. That's so really hard. I don't yeah. necessarily agree with because if she hits it simultaneously, I think that red hits the yellow and kicks right across the top, and New Brunswick doesn't have to throw. If she hits this red fairly thick, then really hard might work. You're just trying to sandwich it yeah. in between the two yellows. Yeah. Right. And that, I guess I guess if she hits two thirds here, really hard's fine.
Final stone. For Team Canada. Spurt that red right across. Ooh, she got it in there. So for the moment now, New Brunswick sitting the one. That's the tie point. Now, is that draw there? You know what's easier? What's easier, and I don't think they're going to see it because this draw is what everybody wants to play, but I don't like this draw at all. Why not just come down here with peel weight, hit that yellow there, that goes, that goes, and there's no way, there's no way your yellow one's going past that if you hit it thick enough. Little three quarter. Sylvia, you have this too. Oh, they did see it. There you go. Oh, you mean coming through the hole? She's I like seeing. That one. No. Oh. No, just hit it. Uh, she thought drawing through. This is a huge game because, well, for a number of reasons, but New Brunswick with a chance to win. 14. A little less. That's a really tough this, the draw that This is the draw that Rachel didn't think was there. Now the red one's even farther in the way, so it's actually tougher. Well, they didn't. They don't have much time, so they didn't get a lot of opportunity to talk. They've yeah. used their two timeouts. New Brunswick, a win would no assure line. Saskatchewan a playoff spot. Stay close. No, you're on the front. Whoa. Go. Gotta get Whoa. to the four. Yeah, this yeah. is the draw that go. Rachel Holman says wasn't go. there. Wait's good. Wait's good. Wait's Wait's good. good. Get it by. Take it by. Get it through. Take it by. Take it down. Get it by. The draw. It was there. Best off. <laughs> New Brunswick makes the draw for two. Make the final six five. New Brunswick three and seven. It's a two loss day for the two time defending champions. Who fall now to six and four? So, this is what we know Alberta, Manitoba into the one two game. They'll uh, play for that hammer tomorrow. Saskatchewan seven and three. They can do no worse than a fourth loss tomorrow. Team Canada will play Northern Ontario, and that team that winner will get the fourth and final playoff spot and that will be the game we will show you at 10 a.m eastern time tracy horgan sudbury rachel home in ottawa both at six and four one goes on one is out when we join you again it'll all come down to one game last draw Always excited. The playoffs are ahead, but not before we decide who gets that final spot here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.